Infinite Fusions took the internet by storm, and outside of forming views off of shorts, I played all the way through Kanto with an incredibly interesting team. And since you all showed up and subscribed for the last one, like, like I can see that, thank you, by the way, I thought I would explore the second half of this game, set in the Johto region. Sure, my alt team felt special, but for this journey, I wanted to use six entirely new Pokemon. It took me a while to find the perfect few combinations, and by that, I mean a whole three hours dedicated to a exclusively fusing Pokemon until I created a perfect team with some phenomenal designs and a default Club Penguin avatar. However, the Johto region is a bit different than you might remember, since not only does this take place three years prior to Gold and Silver, but we start the game by taking a train to Goldenrod and challenging Whitney's gym first. Oh, we got another quiz. Okay. Count. Three, four, five, six. Oh, this is like the Pokemon Stadium minigame. That's so cute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, that's so fun. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. Why did I count like that? I think that means I saw nine. God, this is such an edgy goddamn Pokemon and I love it. And we are so over leveled. Pay close attention. Count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't ask me about a specific Pokemon. Shit, I'm gonna say five. Yeah, okay, good shot in the dark right there. All right, and we made it through. Oh, wait, that's such a fun design. It's gonna. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I might have just used Sword Dance like three times. Okay, that is uh what we in the business call unfortunate. At least it can't hit us with an electric move because uh we're Vaporwave Torterra. Ah, uh, please. Okay. <laughs> we almost got wiped by a gimmick. Yeah. Well, uh, that's our first gym badge of Johto though. With our terrifying team. Luckily, Whitney gave us the badge without a tantrum this time, and we headed southbound to Azalea Town. Yeah, the order of these gyms is all messed up this time around. But after leaving Goldenrod, I found a free egg and then passed a morality check to not steal another. But before facing Bugsy, I had to see what else was out there. This looks like some Tower of God type shit. Earth Satan. Where we got here? Oh. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, he's infertile, guys. He just got news back from the doctor, please help him. Did they just strap Gardevoir for this one? <laughs> he looks like, like a like Evo one, right? They gave her the guns. What do you mean smash? So now that I've essentially created bench warmers, I then discovered that Azalea Town was flooded, warned Kurt, and then had to challenge the Suicune Simp to a battle. Oh, he you guys thought that said Mewtwo at first too, right? I thought that dude was packing heat. How stupid I felt. And it's dead. God, I like Infurcot. I like this dude a lot. I just jammed a bunch of Shelter in that well and it flooded. No big deal. Why'd I do it? Well, I most definitely can't tell you or else you'll mess everything up. Is he the bad guy in this game? Who's to say, really? But it's definitely between him and the creator of Slowpoke puzzles. Sure, there's a lot of charm in shoving Slowpoke around, but at the end of the day, it's still a strength puzzle. And after an embarrassingly long amount of time, uh, this town was saved and it was time to face our second gym leader. But since this game takes place before Bugsy was the gym leader, it means Kurt gets to hit us with the worst gym puzzle in existence. You had to randomly guess the correct order of eight different spider webs. There's no indication and it's not like hard, but like why? Yeah, honestly, yeah, fuck that. I'm glad Kurt retired. That shit sucked. Too bad everything dies from Kurt. Bro, that scissor is hung. They, okay, okay, buddy. This skull, what with gym leaders taking a, an ace and then sl slapping it on Chansey? I see where he's going and I don't like it. No, don't you minimize <laughs> okay. Alright, we got war flashbacks on that one. And you're welcome, everybody else. I made Kurt retire. Next up is gonna be Faulkner's gym, since we're essentially accessing the map in an unorthodox counterclockwise fashion. Unfortunately for us, though, Union Cave is broken. <laughs> That's right, the, the whole cave just broke. So I had to take the scenic route, catch some brand new fusion material, and on the way out, I encountered a miracle. What? What the? <laughs> Huh? Jesus Christ himself can't even do that. What, what powers does this one fisherman hold? Oh, the coming of Christ. Oh, Magizar, no. Oh, no. This guy knows something that we don't. Well, you certainly know your way around a Pokemon fight. Do you want to have another one? Nah, I'm good, man. I'll be here if you change your mind. Yeah, I bet your ass will be. When I made it to Violet City, I was immediately ready to challenge Faulkner and his stupid ass gym challenge. Inside was full of mutant flying types. Some interesting, most disturbing. 
disturbing, but the trial here is that the wind of the flying type gym will constantly push you in a certain direction. So it's really just me fighting the elements out here until I finally found Faulkner and gave him a piece of my mind. Owl is nice and all, but I'm gonna sword dance. I have disguise. Does he hit me? No? That's fine. I will sword dance again. Touch me and you die. All right. Unfortunate air slash you just did. Now everything gets ice punched. Ooh, Scar Doom. I guess Shadow Claw now. Oh, uh, we're plus two slacking without Truant. You know, like, like, how do you really beat this thing? Uh, I, I think we're finding out that the answer is you really don't. Yeah, sometimes you struggle and sometimes you sweep, but that's just the name of the game. And I know it's been a while since I've created monstrosities of my own, so I managed to catch some new fusion material in the ruins of Alf and whatever the hell this thing is. What? Oh, 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 because we already caught Entei. Oh, so that's Suicune and Raikou fused. Is that... No, not you, Mugon. Sit down, sit down. This, is, this ain't about you. Is that not Palkia Dialga? <laughs> is everyone in this game? Oh, uh, no. Raikun, that should be mine. I'm the one who assembled him. Would you like to hear? Sure. Oh, whoa. Okay, we got cutscenes in this bitch? There it was. Suicune, the legendary Pokemon. But the thunderstorm had also attracted another visitor. Jump scare. Raikou, another one of the legendary beast Pokemon, also showed up alongside Suicune. I knew that I did not have much time left, so I had to think fast, pulled out my Glock, and struck that bitch down. <laughs> So whenever that was over, my only question was, how the hell do we get around this goddamn pseudo wudo? Apparently, it's not through Goldenrod, but instead, Blackthorn. Yeah, this whole map feels incorrect, but first, let's make God feel regret. Okay, first one, badass. What are they cooking here, is my question. Oh, that's so sick. It's like the distortion world on his back. Hold up, two of my favorite Pokemon in the entire world? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little dumbass. That's just a gun. What the hell is this behemoth? Wait, that's raw. King oh, it's Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Why? I don't know. Okay, chat. No, you didn't see nothing. You chat. You did not see nothing. With the new team assembled, I ventured towards Sprout Tower and was faced with the most unsuspecting stealth mission imaginable. Oh, because that's what Pokemon needed. Yeah. Things going pretty solid so far. Shit. Yeah, what's with all the Walter Whites trying to track me down? They want me bad, man. Oh, I got so scared. Yeah, that's a hard one. Oh, 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 oh. Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. Hello. No way. The Bell Sprouts also throw me out, too. Oh, it's only if they touch me. Oh, oh, okay. I can just keep running, though. Oh, we've... Oh, my God. Bro, they got movement. There's movement creep in this game. <laughs> what? What the hell is this? It's fucking rhythm heaven-ass minigame. Huh? Uh, what do the shiny bell sprouts do? <laughs> Gold bat boots? Why? I did all that? Why am I stealing bell sprout statues? Do I just sell them? Why did I do this? Does anyone know why I came here? Okay, I gotta know. Was it worth becoming a criminal to steal Bellsprout statues? No, not really. There's karma in this game? They made Pokemon a real ass RPG. And I'm gonna become a criminal. Oh, the cops are, the you thief, stop! No, he knows! After walking around the southern half of Johto, I ended up in Newbark Town and met Professor Elm. Of course, he had a lot to say, you know, like the whereabouts of the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo for some reason. Then he meant to gift me a Cyndaquil, but since this is a randomizer that I forgot to turn off, uh, yeah, this dude just handed us a Celebi. So let's create some new abominations, huh? The silhouette is already mad majestic. Look how happy that guy is. Yeah, combining Satan with sick. Whoa. Okay, wait, wait, that's sick. It's just objectively badass. That is what I would want to see from a Hackster's Giratina's fusion. Mimikyu always makes for something cool. That just looks like a Chainsaw Man enemy. Well, now I'm just a little curious, right? One of the strongest Pokemon. If Sylveon is trans rights, this one is trans wrong. Sudowoodo just feels like he's going to set up for a lot of silly fusion. And it's a body pillow.
Anyways, now we gotta take this secret little cave and head upwards towards Blackthorn. Before challenging Claire, though, I fused a few more Pokemon together because it's now a crippling addiction. But after a while, I found a new team member and entered the Dragon's Den. I mean, with this Ice Beam wielding Pharaoh, a bodacious bug with Moonblast, and a play rough spamming Behemoth, yeah, this one really shouldn't be a challenge at all. And this was quickly proven true. Sure, there was still a classic strength puzzle to deal with, but then all that was left on my path was none other than Claire. Ooh, Pharados. Okay, you have to see it and think of like the biology of it. It has to crawl, right? It can crawl on land. No, this dude's in pain, bro. Fire Fang, odd. Okay, we're just swinging out the open air, huh? I'm just gonna go Shadow Ball. Because I, I I don't know what... That motherfucker got mirror coat. Uh, I think now is us spamming Sword Stance. We take the... Dis oh, are they stuck using mirror coat? Uh, first off physical attacker. Second off, uh, we are plus six now. Donair? Mm -mm. Don't think so. What was that? <laughs> the queen be cool. The hell kind of attack was that? You're really going to make Claire cry now. <laughs> With the Blackthorn gym badge collected, I snuck behind the gym to enter the actual dragon den and was rewarded. Can we get a gibble? <gasps> this is huge. Oh my God. We are going to fuse them with so many different things. What is it turning into? I do not understand what this is. It's a box. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, this is heat. Oh, come on. This thing has to be cool. Okay, so if you think most of this video has just felt like me showing off fusions, uh, you'd be correct, but I continue this reverse journey through Johto by trekking through the ice cave, and nothing of interest really happened. At least, until I made it to Price's Gym that is now designed around the game of hockey. Outside of all the trainers, I had a battle with a flaming Whimsicott. I also had to pass along the Pokey Puff with surgical precision and push it along perfectly into the goal. Even though this is a combination ice and strength puzzle, I think it was pretty fun. I mean, I think that in retrospect because uh at the time okay that puzzle sucks what, what is it with the johto in this game and making the worst gyms you've ever seen except whitney hers was cute <gasps> do king okay well hard confirmation i psychic got it okay general <laughs> holy shit now that's a pokemon we should swap here but i ain't no bitch this ain't no nuzlocke no we're fighting yeah we are at no 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 we're fighting Oh, pro Boster. Oh, this is a man's. Okay, he's going to use... Na I'm going to use Nasty Plot. Yeah, Iron Defense doesn't mean anything. Oh, surface flies up. And this now that we've collected over half of the gym badges in Johto, it feels like we should celebrate with some fusions, right? Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Two sick dragons yet again. <laughs> it's like the yearbook photo of just Lugia, but cooler. He just put on sunglasses and called it a day. Thank you, Gyarados. <laughs> Wacky Wick Waving Flames Inflatable 2 Man! Oh, is that Lorelei? Eoxus and Nidoking come together and create... That's just Evangelion! <laughs> this is Shuckle Prime. The final evolution of the... Wait, shit. This could actually just be a Pokemon. They could just drop this. You put Lugia and Lugia together, what do you get? That's so cool! Mimikyu and Rotom, they both kind of do similar things. This is just... <laughs> just a creepy pasta, really. Look at how... Tiny, this creature is about to become. Oh, it's the art phone. <laughs> he just got 4G now. It's electric fighting, and I don't know why. It's because he's fighting for his goddamn life! With a few violations of the Geneva Convention out of the way, I headed towards the Lake of Rage and met Horus? Look, uh, this game is so sick. Everyone is here, you know? He doesn't really do much yet, but maybe more on him later, since my goal was now to capture the shiny red Gyarados. What? Now in Ecritique City, the Burn Tower was our next destination. Similar to the swarm of Bellsprout earlier, the game is now throwing another stealth mission at us. Morty finds me, starts talking shit, but I have a game shark on my side. After then dodging multiple haunters, I stood tall next to Morty, watched him retreat to his gym, and chased him back at what the hell is this? Eventually I realized that it's essentially two separate paths that appear and reappear and disappear, which is just an inconvenient way to make a bridge. It's full of dead ends, cross boundaries, and a few of my familiar Sleep paralysis demons. But thanks to this ghost normal tank with the power of slacking and the ability of a Mimikyu, how could Morty possibly expect to stand in our way? I think we get a free swords dance here because 
Uh, also, ghost normal, so we're pretty much only going to hit, get hit by dark type moves. And we have disguise, so I think we're fine. That's first sword stance is nice, and then the shadow claw just. Oh, it was. Sorry, I, I got legitimately jump scared by that one. I wasn't ready for it. This is gonna be a ghost dark Pokemon. Oh, thank Christ, we have Clay Rough, because otherwise Wonder Guard would be a huge asshole to us. Uh, let's send out Cleft. <laughs> I think Shadow Claw. We'll see if it's not very effective. Oh, it's super. We're fine. I uh, now I got Snorse. That's the big ace at the end, huh? <laughs> I guess I am just gonna have to play rough here. Or, oh, my attack's down. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. We're still plus one, though. Uh, oh, and... This might be fine. He's plus four, which I don't love. Oh, my God. I got red. I got red so hard. Wait. He's swords dancing because he can't hit me. I'm gonna king shield, at least. Yeah, okay, good call. Good call. Now he's only plus five, thank Christ. Yeah, now we can win this. He's gonna try to use Body Slam on us again. So let's just throw out our Ghost Pokemon. And I think that's GG's. I actually had pretty little faith for that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was only plus four at the end of it. Only two badges remain in Johto, and even though I felt ready, I took a quick break at the local hotel and had a weird fucking dream. Like, one where Professor Oak got turned into a Jirachi, and then I get murdered by it, and somehow it followed me back to the real world, only for me to deny its biology by turning into a biblically accurate reimagining of it and fuse it with a low pony. So after that, I might have done a little bit of sequence breaking by forgetting to turn off my game shark, and silly little me might have ended up finding a fusion between two dark gods from a different dimension, Oh no! So, uh, I'm just gonna chalk that one up to an oops. What the fuck? <laughs> of course, I caught it, though. I'd be a fool not to take advantage of me taking advantage. Since the path left to Ecritique hasn't been built yet canonically, and given how this map is so incredibly large, featuring not just Kanto and Johto, but also a fully fleshed out Sevi Islands, I took a small detour to see what kind of a story I was missing out down there, and to my surprise, it was a lot. I really just started wandering around aimlessly until I managed to end up in an active volcano, which could have been worse. And like all other video games with zero flaws, it's time for the unpredictable Lost Woods! Baby. The only direction is to guess which ladder is correct, but luckily, uh, this random old man decides to rub cream on me, and now I'm heat proof, I guess guess. That makes sense, right? I wasn't just violated. After a bit of spelunking and several wrong decisions, the screen turned into a blinding shade of red, and suddenly, uh, Groudon. Oh my god, that shit was red! Let's just try one quick ball. Maybe... <laughs> I thought maybe Groudon would want to be taken out of this hell as soon as possible. Like, maybe he also hates it down here. It is in your best interest to just stay in the ball. You do not want to be down here. That's what I thought, okay. With one of the gods of weather captured, surely we can find the other one, right? Well, through a hellish labyrinth of an ocean in search for Kyogre, uh, I failed, but I was apparently right where I was supposed to be in terms of the story. Not only is Team Rocket here attempting some playground terrorism, but they maliciously battled me one by one until I somehow became softlocked. What the fuck do we do now? Oh, thank God. Okay, they thought of this. <laughs> oh, God. Remember when I said everyone is here? Yeah, uh, everyone is here, and now the plot starts to go from zero to 60. Not only is Team Plasma back, but they've now partnered with Team Rocket to create a new evil League of Villains stationed at P2 Laboratory. Yeah, that's right, in Unova. Genuinely, why does the funny sprite game have so much content in it? And above all else, why is it good? Normally, I expect fan game plots to be overly edgy or cringy, but this just brings every generation together like what Pokemon fans have always wanted and it's well written? This game's good, okay? Uh, this game is just good. And to my surprise, to talk about the game again, uh, Jasmine abandoned her duties as a gym leader to go on vacation and whenever I found her, she just jump scare battled me for my seventh gym badge. I guess she's in a Scar Drio, of course. I guess I'm just gonna... Okay, never mind. I got a new plan. Yo, Spikes in a Whirlwind is a little mean. <laughs> uh, I got a Swords Dance here. Never mind. I guess I shouldn't have Swords Dance there. I'm faster, and I'm going to Calm Mind once. Going to Whirlwind, of course. Uh, I was just hoping she wouldn't this time. <laughs> this is such a toxic-ass trainer. She just, oh, I'm here on vacation. And also the worst trainer you have ever met. This Christ. Okay, at least it died. Ooh, this thing really dies to Earthquake, huh? Oh, wow. Look at that defense there. Ooh, oh, and now it's dead. 
Yeah, GG's. GG's. I mean, I gotta say, it's nice that she actually has a team this time around. Uh, oh, I didn't even need flinch, huh? Okay. Well, that was cool. And I'm I'm happy to see Jasmine with more than three Pokemon, two of them being Magnemite. Only one badge now remains, but I don't even think that's the plot of the game anymore. So while hoping I just magically encounter Chuck, I stumbled upon the aquatic Lost Woods, baby, this time and found my missing Kyogre. Oh. Huh? Oh, I forgot. I just uh, That guy's like, what the fuck did I just witness? Uh, what's funny, though, is that a while ago in the back rooms of that hideout, all Team Rocket was trying to do was protect a lone Kling Kling, who apparently makes for phenomenal fusion material. What the hell do you get when you cross Kling Kling? With, like, I wouldn't even know. Gun in the head? I don't... This ain't Pokemon anymore. <laughs> like, Kling Kling just, in my mind, doesn't make any sense. But it all turns into, like, almost like steampunk designs. It shouldn't work. This just should not work. But it does every time. I can see this becoming something cool. I have no idea. Oh. And then when you try to make mimics out of it, I feel like it shouldn't work. <laughs> Why is it so cute? But unfortunately, these fusions also exist. Um evil sociopath recommended this one and i don't like where it's going oh you see my brain i thought it was going in a different direction oh but the other one though oh wait <laughs> it's a little guy he's out of the pouch and roaming is this the one i should be scared All right, we just witnessed a tragedy, guys. Can I can I reverse it? Can I at least save it by reversing it? It's even worse! No! We still have not run into the, the Raikou Suicune fusion a single time. Chuck? Oh, are we... Okay. Is this how I get my last Johto badge <laughs> against Kabu Champ? Uh, I like the design, though. Holly 8. Uh, I think I just also Earthquake. Oh, uh, yeah, that's an unfortunate time to belly drum. Okay. And the Hitmon Lex, look at that guy. Okay, so my strat here is I'm going to Quiver Dance, not die. Quiver Dance again. I'm getting a little greedy. Now I think I just sweep everything with sword power. Yeah, no, I think this just sweeps. <laughs> Wait, Luka gone? That dude's sick and dead, but cool, right? Wow, and that was our last Johto badge? So if you thought we were creeping up on the end of the game just because we collected eight gym badges, you are going to be shockingly incorrect because by the time you're ready to report your victory to O... Uh, hello? Whoa, whoa, Cynthia! <clears throat> hey, 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 guys. I, uh, I, I didn't see you there. Yep, that's right. Everyone is here. Normally, after conquering the second region, you'd expect us to challenge Red, right? Uh, well, I am Red. So now they're throwing Cynthia at us. Of course, she introduces herself as the Sinnoh champion alongside our rival Jesus Christ himself. She needs our help to tackle the strange distortions atop Mount Silver. Naturally, you'd expect it to be Giratina or something since that beast is so heavily associated with Cynthia. But you don't even get a chance to find out without trekking up to Mount Silver only to challenge our holy rival for the first time since the Pokemon League. Oh, I guess it's been a while. Oh, he has Arkansas. Oh, wait. His team is so much cooler now. It dies to one earthquake, but like, it's still cool. Oh, oh, it holds on. Oh, uh, I will just drain punch them. Pro -Gi We just flamethrower. Oh, burn. That burn was helpful. <laughs> that was a very helpful burn. Whoa. Miss M Miss Mechazam. Bro, this is just my favorite one. Oh, wow. Ooh, I didn't like that one, though. Adaptation. Now I use Night Slash. D-Dance? Oh, shit. Oh, God. What, what is he plotting? Well, luckily, all I need to do is just live one hit. Oh, he's going to Dragon Dance. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and that was it. Of course, there's more mountain to climb, and like a lot of it. So eventually, I took some time to look within and start asking questions. If we're red... Who is waiting for us? Before I could even make it to the summit, Cynthia stopped me dead in my tracks because apparently whatever the hell is at the top is too terrifying to deal with. Sure enough, we refused to back down, but Cynthia decided to test our strength first, which is the most terrifying thing that can possibly happen in the world of Pokemon, especially since- Wait, no, no, I did heal! How, how rude is it that they allow me to fight Cynthia? Cynthia of all people without healing. Okay, okay, you know what? I just lose one turn here, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'll quiver dance and then heal to balance it out. Oh, this curse is going to ruin me. Oh my god, and Rose Core. I think I'm going to bug buzz. Okay. Either way, we have Infer caught here, and Flamethrower is just going to kill. Uh, and now we got... Oh, Million! Oh my... I love how they just took Cynthia's team and just... Just, just change it up a little bit. All right, but also this thing's got to... Like, we got to move. 
Uh, Rain Dance, I can deal with that, because Earthquake probably kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Dummy Attack on this thing. Vapor Chomp? This one is sick! This Cynthia team is awesome, dude. It's not a dragon. Okay. But I still move faster. I should just return. Yeah, let's just go with that. Uh, I mean, I don't like, like... It is what it is. I take what I can get. And uh, that is... Probably the fewest deaths <laughs> any person has ever had on Cynthia. I literally do not know what's up here. Uh, is Cynthia scared? I'm scared is all I got to say. Your limbs suddenly feel extremely heavy. Oh, is that Arceus? Oh, wait, what is... Is this... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, are they going to do the thing with the birds where they just fuse everything together again? Wait, 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 wait. Is this the trio? Is it... Alpha was sent three years into the future? No fucking way! No way! I'm him! No way! I'm him! That, that's so sick! I was out wondering, like, if Red is in, if I'm Red, who's sitting atop it? It's me! That's so cool! And it now it, like, shifts all my perspective. It's just like, when I beat this game, when I beat red and gold and silver, it's like, I just beat a guy who was out of his element. <laughs> gonna use rollout. That's strange. Okay, we got rid of his sturdy, which is unfortunate for him right as he dies. Yeah, buddy. I mean, we, we had full restore three years ago, too. Tokarion. Uh, yeah, I was scared. I was scared. Okay, no more serene grace, at least. Uh, it, it, it dies in two. Oh, wait, hold up. No. Moonblast, we're fine. We tank that. Okay, okay, barely we tank that. Tank is a generous word. I think this guy's pretty fast. Uh, oh, I'm definitely... Yeah, yeah, okay, duh. Uh, rain dance, ice swords dance. I can go plus... It's faster than me, so I should attack it, though. Yeah. Oh my god, no way! No way! No way, bro! Holy shit, that was, that was just unlucky. Literally just unlucky. Oh, my, and I have such a large level gap here. Oh. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, this is the sweep we need. This is the this is what we need. Okay, moon blast, please do a lot. Thunder. I'll deal with status that way. I will get rid of stat. Okay. I don't want to spam items, but if if that's the game we're playing, I will. I say I go for another quiver. Like at this point, I need something. No confusion. Uh I go moon blast here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now we're set up. Uh dude, honestly, really sick to just give him like all of the the starters and the birds or not the birds all the legendary beasts i guess i just go store power eesh okay he also has hydro pump yeah so now what we got inte and meganium yeah i can probably just do bug buzz it's gonna be neutral oh missed a fire blast oh we get away with those Ooh. and then dragados uh, really brings it all home huh yeah i was under leveled for that fight too because i guess like He's at level cap to fight me, right? Yeah, we're gonna give up on that, but ooh. Oh, and he hits me with the dot, dot, dot. Oh my God. I was just wondering why is Red up there? If Red's, dude, I'm literally him. Pokemon Infinite Fusions is truly a game of infinite content and a genuine love letter to every single Pokemon fan in existence. Like if this game officially released tomorrow, it'd be known as the best Pokemon game. And my video does not even properly show off everything like getting to meet the Creation Trio Fusion, as well as several other side quests, legendary encounters, character cameos, and just a ton of other funny fusions. This has been such an incredible experience and I cannot give any other fan game higher praise. Pokemon Infinite Fusions is now the standard of fan games in my eyes. And even though they did several things right, I'm not gonna let them get away with this one.